guys! So today I'm going to be filming my favorite drugstore concealers video. I did do a favorite foundations video, so if you guys want to see that, I will definitely have it linked down below so you can go ahead and check that out. I have six concealers to show you, all from the drugstore. You can get them from Target, Walmart, get them online. Basically, I never really use concealers to actually conceal spots on my face because I don't have acne or anything like that. Knock on wood. Um, I don't have many blemishes, and once I put like a BB cream or foundation on, my skin is basically just all the same. So I'm going to be showing you concealers for underneath the eyes and for highlighting. So, um... Yeah, I would do a regular concealers video, but I don't use them, so I thought I would just go ahead and do this because I do use multiple ones, different types, different textures, so yeah, let's get into it. So the way that I'm going to be organizing this video is basically I have one concealer type stick, so I'm going to start with that first. So the first concealer that I use underneath my eyes is actually the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Foundation Stick, and I picked this up in the color Medium Beige 160. So I like to use this underneath my eyes, and it is like the perfect color for underneath the eyes. It has that nice yellow undertone, which is good for me because that's what undertones I have in my skin. And I don't know if you guys can see that swatch, but it is pretty light, but not so light that when you blend it in, it's like really, really noticeable. So it's perfect for a little bit of a subtle highlight. It gives you a powdery finish because it is a foundation stick and it's really really nice. I don't remember the price but I will have all the information on the screen just like I did in my foundations video. So yes, um, blends out really really easily. The best way to apply this I would say is just roll it on your skin and then blend it in with your fingers or a sponge or a brush. Now we're going to move on to the thinner concealers that you usually use with a wand. So the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me, and I do actually have this one in my skin tone, and it's a really, really, really good concealer, but um, like I said, I don't really use concealers that way, so I don't use it that much. But I got this in the color, I believe, 25, which is medium. I always go for medium with my skin tone for under eye highlights, because I feel like if you go lighter than that, it's a little too much. So I like to use this underneath my eyes, and I also like to use it to highlight. I actually used it to highlight my face today, <laughs> and it just looks like that. Nice little swatch, and it blends in nicely while still giving you that nice, like, bright highlight underneath the eyes. And this also has a yellow undertone, and I feel like, I think this is the concealer where people say that it's like NARS creamy, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. But... As we know, I like drugstores, so I've never tried that before, but let me know if it is like a dupe. And it just has like the little wand applicator at the end, and the thing I like about this is if you want to use a sponge to apply it, you can literally just take it off the applicator and just apply it straight to your skin. So that is the second concealer I have to show you guys. And the next one is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. And this is from the new CoverGirl line. I feel like it's Katy Perry's line. And I got this in the color medium slash deep. And I really, really like this one as well. This is more of a liquidy sheer concealer, as you can see. So when you blend it in, it's not as intense. And it does have that same yellow undertone because... I have yellow undertones in my skin, so that's what I try to go for in concealers, and it has the same applicator, and I really like this one because it's a lighter consistency, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing as much on your skin, and I feel like this would be a great concealer in your skin tone if you wanted to just like not wear that much face makeup and just do a little concealer here and there to hide some dark spots or patches or anything like that. So everyone check this one out because this is an all-time fave of mine. This is the third one that I'm going through and it's almost empty and I will be buying another one. So I have three more concealers and these are all thicker concealers and they all have like a just very odd way of applying, so I thought I would just put them together. So the first one is the Instant Age Rewind, and I don't use this one as much because it is too light for me, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the more medium one when I feel like I need another concealer, which is probably not anytime soon. But it came with a roller ball, but I went ahead and I just popped that off because I just feel like a lot of bacteria carries in it, so you can literally just take it off, and then when you twist it, it just comes up at the very top, 
and this is in the color Fair, and it has a very, very, like, pink undertone, so it doesn't work with my skin very well, as you can probably see, because it's literally white. I actually used it on my friend, um, Rachel, and she's pretty pale, and this was literally her skin tone, so that kind of tells you how pale this concealer is. It honestly is fair, and when you blend it out, it's still super, super light, so... This is actually a pretty good concealer. It's not super, super thick, but it is pretty thick, so I like to use a sponge or a brush and really, really blend this out. I will still use it sometimes, even though it's a little lighter, if I just want to add a little more highlight in an area. This is the Treatment Concealer one, so this is for dark circles. So I don't know if it actually does help dark circles, because I've never, like, used it religiously, but... That's pretty cool that you could have a nice little perk from that. And the next concealer is from e.l.f. And these are their Maximum Coverage Concealers, and they're oil-free. And I have this in the color Almond. And this concealer is my skin tone, because I think, um... I don't, I don't remember what happened, but I didn't know which concealer to get. And I've used this concealer as a foundation before because it's super thick and it blends really, really nicely and it gives you so much coverage. So I definitely recommend trying out this concealer for your skin tone or even for underneath the eyes. Sometimes I'll use this underneath the eyes because it's like a hint bit lighter than my actual skin tone. So it just gives you that like, just like... It's not really, really highlighted, but it's just to cover dark circles. And yeah, there's not much on this bottle, to be honest. Like, it doesn't say anything on the back, so I can't really tell you much more about that one. But I do really, really like it, and you just squeeze it out of the bottle. It is pretty small, but you'd be surprised how much product is in here. And then the last product that I have is one of the new concealers in the drugstore, and this is by Maybelline. And this is their Master Conceal, their Camouflaging Concealer. And I actually want to get this in my skin tone because I like this a lot. It says it camouflages imperfections and dark circles, full coverage, high resistance, undetectable finish. And I do definitely agree with that. This is a very full coverage concealer, and I have it in the color Medium Deep. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah. And I like to use this underneath my eyes. And the reason this is one of my favorite concealers is because it has, like, a yellow undertone, but it's also not, like, bright yellow. It's just, like, that perfect, I don't know, I just think it's, like, the perfect color for underneath the eyes. I did pick up medium first, and it was way too light for me, so just keep in mind that medium is just not medium. I don't even know if they have this in just deep. But if they did, that would probably be my skin tone. But medium deep is light. Like, it's pretty light. Like, I can use this to highlight underneath my eyes. If you can swatch this in the store, try to, because finding the color was just very, very confusing. But other than that, really like it. It's not too thick, not too thin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the style of it. Let me know if you want me to do more of these and what products you would like to see next for my favorite drugstore products or if you'd like to see like my favorite Maybelline products or my favorite L'Oreal anything really to be honest I will record just about anything <laughs> so just let me know in the comments down below give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see some more videos from me and I'll see you all in my next one I love you bye I know you been I know How about Hawaii, maybe Jamaica?